What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the Dread Pirate, Dr. Disaster, and the game Earth Defense Force 6 has been released, and things aren't looking too good for it right now. Disappointed! It sucks when a game like this has problems, but this is completely self-inflicted. It seems the game requires players to sign in to an Epic Games account in order to play online with friends, which wasn't clearly advertised at the outset and is pissing people off. Helldivers 2 tried this shit a few months ago and it didn't exactly work out for them. They went from hundreds of thousands playing the game down to tens of thousands in just a few short months. As of now, Earth Defense Force 6 has mostly negative reviews on Steam because gamers are sick and tired of this kind of corporate BS. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter where I keep a list of games infested with woke crap pinned to my account for your reference, my handle over there is Dr. Disaster one But anyhow, Earth Defense Force 6 just released yesterday, and as you can see from the gameplay here, it doesn't look bad. Seems like something I wouldn't mind checking out, but this crap where companies are requiring players to sign in to an outside account in order to play, it is absolute bullshit. You may remember that Helldivers 2 tried this with a PSN account requirement a couple months back. One of the major problems with that was that a ton of players were alienated by this move because in some countries it isn't allowed to have a PSN account. So literally, a bunch of gamers who paid full price for a game weren't allowed to play it online any longer, which opened up all kinds of criticism, and Helldivers 2, which around 350,000 players played it in April, they dropped off a cliff in player count to the point that now they are getting around 50,000 at peak times on Steam. They never really recovered from the move, even though the negative reviews were mostly eliminated. Now, back when it happened, I pointed out that the only real reason I could think of for a company to do this, to require someone to sign in to an outside account like this, is to gather data on a person so that they can sell it. And I don't know about you, but I'm not into that. It seems like every other day you read about some company or another having their security breached and people steal their data. So no, I'm not comfortable with this shit at all. And even if that weren't a concern, I don't want people to take any of my information. I don't know why this is so tough to understand. You just don't get it, do you? You don't. No, these companies just don't get it, and that is why this game has absolutely earned this rating. At the time of this recording, we are at 41.75%. It seems as though the developers got the message though, because they just put out this statement. Thank you for your feedback on Earth Defense Forces 6. The EDF-6 development team for Steam is reviewing and planning changes to the specification that requires sign-in to Epic Games account, which has received the most feedback. At this time, we are unable to provide specifics on how much time this will take, but we will continue to work on it as we address the feedback we have received. Now, you can tell they really don't want to be doing this. Just like with Helldivers 2, they will likely claim the issue is fixed, but I suspect they won't do it completely to the player's satisfaction. There will be some issue or another, but even if they do fix it, this has already put a major damper on the game's release. 
On its launch day, the title only managed around 18,000 concurrent players at its peak on Steam. For a franchise that has always been fairly niche, this just wasn't a controversy they could afford to have. If they do the right thing, there may be some players who give it a try because they want to support that sort of behavior from developers, but I doubt that the game goes much higher than 20 or 30,000 players. Obviously, this isn't as apocalyptically awful as a game like Flintlock or Concord or Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. This game isn't being killed by wokeness, which is about as popular as a rug burn. This is simply corporate greed and corporate bullshit. They try to tell us that an Epic Games account is the only way this is cross-platform compatible, but that is obvious shit. They have an ulterior motive, they want your data because they want to sell it, and that crap isn't okay. So yeah, this game is destroying itself before it even has a chance to flourish. But oh well, that's the bed that they made. Anyhow, I'm gonna leave it there. What do you make of this Earth Defense Force situation? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below, and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me, Hardies. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.